What's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Today we're out at McAllister Buffalo Run Course for a little 918 versus the 405. For those not local, that's Tulsa versus Oklahoma City. Let's get into it. All right, like I mentioned, we are out at McAllister for a little uh, 2v2 battle today. And uh, so Taylor and I, for our doubles monthly match this month, we're going to be taking on the biggest trash talkers out of Oklahoma City that I know. You put an S on it. <laughs> trash talkers, yeah. Hi, I'm Patrick. This is Nick. I was told to explain why we think we'll beat y'all. Tulsa disc golf ratings are inflated, so you guys are like rec players. I think more like Scott Adams, the t touring pro that you guys put on, you guys got a lot of problems. All right, kicking us right into hole one, we've got a very long 540 foot par four. It's on hole one E. So let's label that today. You've got OB on the short concrete path to the left, road long, and there's a culvert that runs down the middle of that. So like you have basically a few landing zones to pick from. And we're gonna let the disc decide who goes first. Heads, it'll be Taylor and I. Tails, it'll be these guys. And uh, in pure 918 fashion, we go first. Always, always and forever. Good luck, guys. Yeah, good luck, good luck. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. yeah. Good luck, partner. Jeez. Okay. In the tall grass we go. Oh no. Oh, roll skis. That might actually work. Burn. No. Burn too much. That's really safe though. That's down there. That'll play. Eyes out. Easy, Bernie. Just keep going left. Sir. I'm not out of bounds. Get over. Sit. It's a butt. Uh, that's not good. I like it. Face, face. Oh. You got a death butt. You worked out this week. No way. Oh. We're up there for a putt. To tap in. Well. I guess I should have went first. I'm that a way magician. I could have laid up, and that way you could have made it. Yeah, I mean, I'm a magician, so. <laughs> 405 with a 25 footer to send a statement. Uh, He's blushing right now. Uh, and impressed. We do. do. He's here. I'm just taking the first putt of the day because uh, I want it. There we go. First drive, first putt. Hold two is a par four, 786 feet. You can take the road, over the road right off the bat, or you can play a big turnover off the tee. But she is way down yonder. Someone's got a little bit of history on this hole. This has been my screensaver since last year. <laughs> I, uh, I won putted for a 10. Because yeah, like here's the thing, right? When you're over 30, it does. It takes quite a few good shots to just really warm the body up. It's not even like soreness or anything. My legs are just feel like jello right now. And my legs are covered in some sort of stickiness. What the heck? Oh, get left, left, right, left. Good. <laughs> this is how PTSD is formed. <laughs> It looks good. Nice and safe. Uh, that's still fine. That's pretty trash. Yep. Can you DNF on hole two in a tournament? You can DNF whatever you want. Like, like, it's like it's like for it though. It's like birdie the first hole and say like, I'm done. It's like that's all I wanted to come here for. If Tulsa has to own the inflated ratings, the 405 has to 
take the fact that our pros DNF every <laughs> every tournament. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. Throw Neptune, baby. That's an opportunity yeah. right there. Good shot. No, it turned on me, Jacob. I see that. Yeah. Roll forever. Uh, <laughs> That's soft. If there's anything I know about Tulsa disc golfers, it's that they like their circle two putts more than their circle ones. Facts. That's Scott Adams only. Yep, keep going. Putting uphill into a headwind. Also, like, talking about, isn't uh, Bilchewski from OKC? Isn't he like the farthest putter on tour? Not we think he pads his stats. He's Norman, we can't claim him. <laughs> Close enough. Oh. And then yours drops. Makes a whole bunch of sense. Well, I didn't put anything on that, to yeah, be honest. Uh, that was a layup. Pretty, pretty weak putt. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeet. No harm, no foul. Hey, real quick, sorry to take you away from the action, but we wanted to give a huge shout out and a thank you. On our last video, you guys helped us reach over a thousand subscribers and then some. Of course, with that, we were doing a giveaway to help give back to you guys helping support us in reaching that goal. In that giveaway, we announced we were giving away a brand new Innova Safari bag and included in that Safari bag is a Paige Pierce Drive and a Color Glow Draco. All right, without further delay, it is time for us to announce the winner of that giveaway. And that is Jeff Pratt 2842 with this comment down below. Jeff, we have reached out to you to get this giveaway to you. However, if you didn't win, be sure to stick around. Taylor and I have lots of other giveaways planned and some more exciting stuff coming your way very, very soon. All right, but with all that out of the way, let's get back into the video. All right, hole three. Don't have a distance. It's far. Um, probably never reach it. And apparently this is like the most dangerous deep pad in Oklahoma. Oh, she's out there. Yeah, there you go. That's not the distance you want, but it sets us up for a good forehand from there, I would assume. Stop! So is the Avenger SS like your workhorse? No, I can't throw forehands. I'm, my hands are too small. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yes. That was really good. Thanks. You're supposed to throw it right. Yeah, I figured as much, but... <laughs> That's his game. He went right, but not very far. Oh! Swim's everywhere. Pretty far. <laughs> Dang. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was like a great... That's really bad, right? Probably. No, you didn't leave it short. Yeah, solo eagles are too clutch. It's uh, too much of a big deal. Hole four is a par four, 420 feet, plays uphill right there on the little peninsula green. You want to stay left of the green because right, your upshots or your drives could roll into the water next to where the sea location is. So just pump one out there, give yourself a look. Gotta get stable. Get stable, get stable. Get that'll Eh, 50-50, I don't remember what it's like down there. Work. 
in the sky somewhere. There she is. Good bed. I make blue pills for that to get it up. Ah! You'll get one one day. Maybe not today, but one day. Oh! We need new baskets out here. <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity keeps coming knocking for the 405, and they just can't. Uh, can't hit a butt to save their life, don't feel bad for them because uh, we're out here to win. Hole five is going to be in the D position, 480 foot par four. Plays out and then to the right, just like how all the holes have played so far. Yeah, she's stable. It's actually a good spot, Jacob. That'll work. I've given might, myself some options. Yeah, it might be in a better spot. Ah. Probably keep throwing the Avenger SF. I know. On a roller. Yeah, that'll I like that a lot. Get right. Yeah. Looks to be in a good spot. So who do you think your best player is? And why is it Joe Carey? <laughs> yeah, Have you seen Joe, Flip Dubs Frenzy? <laughs> Love Joe, but yeah, Tim's got it on lock, dude. He's yeah. our best player. Our best player is Tim Davis. Pat comes up with a lot of names. That's how it's done. Go in. Oh. Oi. I'll squeeze. Hey, run it. Yes, sir. Now get stable. You didn't leave it short. That's a good partner. Was that close? Whoa, aren't you the one throwing forehand? Ah, uh, look at that. Yeah, this guy's got a forehand. What is he talking about? He doesn't have balance, but he does have a forehand. <laughs> nope. How much do you pay for that disc? Not enough. Okay. Good run of zone. It is. Alright, hole six is a par three. 311 feet. Don't know if you can see the basket, but it's straight. You got to take a little hyzer in. Hopefully, you get a little skip to make your putt a little bit easier. First and foremost, just don't hit this tree right in front of the tee pad. Oh. Yeah, that's hit the tree. that's this hole for you. Yeah. Yeah, we're chilling. We got to Oh, this is it, baby. This uh, is it. Oh, it is. Okay. You got a backhand too, folks. Let's go. Yeah. Good accurate run, and it's set. Do it. It's been out. Oh, oh no way! <laughs> oh. No way! Oh, <laughs> and that catches? It's like it's like more, Super Mario when he finishes the more eyes are on the <laughs> I finally gave up the lead. Yay! Six holes in. Hole seven, three hundred feet, plays into the woods right up there. Uh, the telephone poles and beyond to the left are OB, and then there is some to the right that's. Like super far right if you find those somehow also plays OB. Let's see what they do with the box. Oh boy. You viewers are in for a treat. Why is that actually good? <laughs> nice. I didn't see it. <laughs> Big shot up. Disc in my bag. It's the only one that survived game. since I started playing disc golf. Signed by Big Germ. Oh, Big Germ shout out. He'd have been here in spirit. Yeah. I love you, Jeremy.
I think that'll do. That's some Joe Carey right there. Yeah, he just I hit did. the pole. <laughs> Great shot. Thank you. You stand on business. Oh, miss it. <laughs> he didn't hit the tree. In order to hit the gap, I didn't make it. We claim CTP on this hole. What are we out here doing, dude? We need to contribute for our teammates. Um, I, I don't have like any good thing to say. Same here. We're in the same boat. Hole four, par four, 468 feet. Plays out this line of trees out into the open on an elevated pin. First and foremost, you just want to get out of the woods, which this right side gap is pretty ideal to get out of here. So, I mean, if you want to throw a forehand, you have it, but this gap makes the most sense from the tee, so that's what I'm going with. That's really good. What would you have done if he hit a tree and kicked it away? Not going OB. I was going to call him an idiot. Uh, not going OB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sneaky gap. Oh, yeah. Dude, that is nasty. Look at that. I'm from McAllister now, baby. Weird. It's okay. We got one out there. That's all that matters. Lucky shot. MVN. Are we playing this as an island? Uh, sure. Playing it as an island, you heard it here first, folks. Not a putt. Yeah. It's not going to flip up enough. Nope. Safe. Too safe. Baby. That's what I'm you a call baby. a run? I'm a baby. It's safe, I think. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. Tester! I think it's harder to hit the band on the basket than it is. <laughs> Jacob's the king. <laughs> if, you, if you've ever seen me play on these before, I am the legitimate best at hitting the band. Like, baskets actually have a band he doesn't hit, but baskets without a band he does hit. That one stuck for us at least. Yeah. I saw his knees knocking. <laughs> Almost scary. <laughs> it is. He's in the lead. Alright, hole nine, B position this time. 333 feet plays slightly up on the hillside to the left up there. Mando that you have to go to the right of. And then there is OB on the left hand side on the street. See what to do with it. Hey, yep. come back. Yep. <laughs> Too straight. Get stable. I did that. Boy, we love that right side. We sure do. Whew, I thought she did it for once. I thought I did too. Maybe these will help me become a better straddle putter. Oh. Those are good bids right there. Good bid. Never. Hole 10, par 4, 414 feet. Plays out the gap downhill across the ditch. Eagle opportunity here. Those pile, that pile of brush shouldn't come into play. Um, honestly, if you just come up short of the ditch, you're going to have yourselves a circle two putt. So, still their box. See what they do with it. Ciao. Didn't see any of that. What 
that is usually the limb or branch that I hit probably 90% of the time. Right behind the tree, but it should be okay. Yeah, we'll be good. Good layout. Oi! And he threw another one. I went long. <laughs> one time. Drop, drop, drop. Oi! I thought he tickled the chain, but it was the <laughs> tree branch! <laughs> <laughs> I might lose this, which sucks because then I'll lose my tally mark against Tim and have to start over again, but it'll be worth it if this goes in. Just throw it for the tally mark though, like just hit one. Oh, he actually That's went for it. Forever. Safe. It? That's safe. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Best of both worlds. Yeah. Good putt. Scott Adams did tell us the only advice he gave us when we were trying to get this YouTube battle going. He said, take him to a course that has distance because Taylor can putt. All right, hole 11, 255 foot par three plays right out there underneath the trees. I don't know about the rest of this course, but it looks like an ace run. So see if they can do it. Shout out Trevor Swink. <laughs> That's for you, Trevor. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, hit the She not going to do that. Thought the wind would flip that a little bit more. Bum, 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 bum. Hi, how you doing? I don't even feel like I'm in this video, man. <laughs> Little skippity dude on day. It's great that they both missed. The real problem is I still have not thrown a good shot or had a good putt, like, at all this entire round. But that's all gonna change. I, I hit yeah. Going into hole 12. The mentality. If not, I'll squish your head in half. I'll squishy you. Squish, squish, squish. Hole 12, par 3, 352 feet. I personally have not played this pin location, but I'm pretty excited about it. Just tucked up on that hill, right on the perch. It's a long 352. You got to pump it. Is that the farthest you've thrown in your life? No. Oh, too flippy. That's something. So you could have told me to throw that. I don't know. It's decent. Oh, baby. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, there you go. Why is it so blurry? There you go. I don't even know if that's a putt or not, but I actually threw a good shot. Yeah. In the hole. No height. Hey, you really do always hit the man. Uh. How is that thing that strong to direct a disc of that weight to the left? All right, hole 13. 192 foot part three right there. Uh, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh, we get to see the touchiness in his game now. Skip. Oh. Block the shot, but it's okay. It's your first time on the channel. Pure guy, go in the basket one time. One time. Nice. Just part. Oh, I don't think we can miss that putt. Okay. <laughs> oh, keep uh, Gave it my honest effort. You got it. Oh, 
got to get it up, my guy. You've been all over the basket. Oh, we got another band guy. Finally, after many holes, we now have a tie game. And back seven, Jacob is activated. Hole 14, par three, 360 feet according to the tee sign, but it looks like it's a little bit shorter than that. You got two options here, left gap or right gap. Right gap for this particular hole is probably gonna be better. And it's tucked behind that tree a little bit to the left. Oh gosh. I definitely need more than 100 feet off the tee. The hyzer should be, from we there. Get around the tree yeah. Tree. That's gapped. Can't see the shot. Oh, it's, up. Uh, oh. it's gotta be close. Punch through it. Yes. Yes, oh, I got hung up. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, stop rolling. You're good. Is that good? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Hey, good layup. Thanks. They call you no pressure Patrick, right? Is that why you laid up? All right, hole 15, 181 foot par three plays right up there. Another little ace run hole. Not much to it. I mean, you can be bad and still get a putt. That's cool. Nope. Need a little bit more stability. That'll putt. Go, go, go. That's all right. Good putt. Gracias. Great putt to you as well. Hole 16, par 4, 498 feet, straight down there, pick a gap, commit, be accurate. Eagle opportunity. Got no turn. Sad thing is you can still birdie from there. Is that sad or is that good? I feel like that's a good thing. It's good, but get the camera off me. Back seven, Jacob. Back seven, Jacob. That's in my range, Jacob. That's in my range. There she goes. Next to me. Okay. No ground play. I was hoping I'd get some ground play. Give it hyzer, let let the hill filter you. Edwin's gonna flip it. Off hyzer? Maybe. Like this? Maybe. Come on. Where else is going downhill? You're 930 rated, you're not flipping it off. 947. Oh, it's gonna flip it. That zone ever flip. Did that zone ever flip? No. Yeah, it flipped. Flipped. Oh, zone flips. It flips. Leave me alone. From Eagle to Bar. It's trash. A little higher and it might have gone in. Yeah, that's why I put some oomph on it. Oi! <laughs> I thought about it. Actually. All right, hole 17, 350 foot par three, island hole, plays up there on an island, and if you don't make it, there is a drop zone putt from about 60 feet or so that I've been informed of, so I'm gonna kick us off with the Nordic Phenom too, see if I can put it in the island. So safe, dude. 
so safe. Might be safe. so safe that it's not safe. Yeah, Jacob! That's not... It's not in bounds. Listen. <laughs> I'm gonna say that was a Nuke OS, because nobody can prove me differently. Good bird. Final hole, hole 18, par three, 280 feet over the picturesque fountain, past the pond, bestows hole 18's basket. Down, down one, one stroke, something something can happen. Something could happen. Most likely not, but something could. But something could. Ah! 18 holes bird? and he's thrown zero good shots. Inside circle one. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Uh. It's up there for a putt. Big putt. Finish it up. He knows Patrick's not coming to save him. Playoff time. Playoffs? Talking about playoffs? All right, back to hole one for the uh, playoff. We're just gonna go hole one, two, so on. Sudden death, so whoever wins the hole first wins the match. Kind of good. Yeah. Ah. Inbounds. You might be short. Same part as, uh, yeah. I don't have any more energy, guys. We need to wrap this up ASAP. <laughs> I'm not giving up that easy, Jacob. <laughs> Back and bounce. Go all the way back up the other side. <laughs> Keep going. Get it. <laughs> Good putt. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, third time's the charm, Patrick. Come on. Five. <laughs> cool. Shaky, shaky. Playing shorts here at hole two, which is um, was that 254. So. We're gonna alternate in this playoff, so it's gonna be their box. He's clutch. The Buzz OS. They go, in. Go, go in. Go in. Go oh, in. It's got a win lift. Oh. Mm. Mm. Drop. Go in. Yeah. Butter shot. Good putt. 
<laughs> yeah. Playoff hole number three. We're playing it from the original tee pad. It's about 340 feet, par three, on top of the hill. It's our turn now. It's getting way too hot for this nonsense. Oh, no luck needed. That looks it's good. It's gonna be a long putt. Jacob Grannon. That might be up there. We'll see. I think you have a better look than I do. Patrick came to play in the playoffs, dude. A little early. Is that what they call you? They call you Playoff Patrick? Playoff P. Oh, baby. I did just win a playoff last week to win my first MA1 tournament. Let's go. <laughs> that looks money. Uh, it's rolling somewhere. Oh, it's rolling down. Yeah, unfortunately, they have to take Nick's drive as Jacob and Patrick's win OB. Mine stayed in bounds. See if Patrick, playoff P, can clutch up. I'm ready to end this right now. There was a time for me to hit a putt. All right, well, at least you can You putted it. when the wind picked up the most. This is called being clutch. Oh. Uh... All right, back to hole 17. You already know, island hole, their box. It's like 102 and I'm, I'm about done. Oh, he piped it. Oh, it's so short. No, you're on the phone. OB, way to put that pressure on your teammate. <laughs> I love it. Uh-oh. Even better. Oh, oh no. no. There's a problem with the top. Yeah. Park. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is a drop zone putt for the par save. Oh no. Extremely lucky. Because I threw my shot thinking Jacob was parked. He's actually OB, and I saw mine skip off the road. Somehow it landed inbounds. I'm going to take my relief, drain this putt, and end it. You got it. <laughs> There's a bunch of sap on my desk. That is going to do it. Quite the playoff there at the end. Clean Patrick's had enough. He's heading to the parking lot. I want to give a big shout out to him and Nick Nielsen for coming out and playing with us. Had a great time. Much really appreciate it for sure. Anybody you want to shout out? Um, really appreciate my sponsors, Team Infinite and Protoflight. I couldn't do it without all their support. Appreciate it. I'll drop his uh, link to his Instagram in the comment section below or the description below. It's hot out here. Brian, brain's fried. I'm malfunctioning. Brian's fried. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>